Hello and welcome. Today we shall be looking at Bajia's disease, also known as thromboangiitis obliterans. Bajia's disease is an inflammatory condition that leads to the formation of a thrombi within the small and medium-sized blood vessels. This primarily affects the distal arteries of the hands and the feet. Bajia's disease most commonly affects men between the age of 25 and 35 years old and is strongly associated with tobacco use. In fact, it often occurs in individuals without a typical risk factors for atherosclerosis other than smoking. In the clinical presentation of Bajia's disease, the patients typically present with a painful, bluish discoloration of the fingertips or tips of the toes, and if untreated, this can progress to an ulceration, gangrene, and ultimate amputation. This type of amputation is known as an autoamputation. Other symptoms for Bajia's disease include an intermittent claudication, ischemic pain in the digits even at rest, and a dull, aching pain that worsens at night. This disease affects the limbs, making them feel cool, numb, or tingling. The pulses in the distal extremities are often diminished, and when the limbs are placed in a dependent position, they may appear red and cool to touch. Ulcerations can also develop in the affected areas in the extremities. A key diagnostic feature in Bajia's disease is the presence of a corkscrew-shaped collateral vessels on the angiography, which form to bypass the obstructed arteries. A diagnosis is primarily clinical, supported by a patient history and an exclusion of other potential causes. A positive Allen test can further support this diagnosis for Bajia's disease. The cornerstone of management of Bajia's disease is a complete cessation of smoking and merely cutting down or using nicotine replacement may not be effective in resolving the condition. For critical limb ischemia, intravenous iloprost, which is a prostaglandin analog, may be considered to delay the blood vessels. And vasodilators together with antiplatelet agents may also play a role in the treatment. In severe cases, a surgical intervention, for example sympathectomy or an amputation, may be required. Pain management Proper wound care, monitoring of circulation, and a prevention of further injury are essential components for long-term treatment of Bajia's disease.